In this tip of the week, we will look at how to manage two or more sections that have been combined into one course in my classes. If you are teaching multiple sections of the same course in my classes, you can request to have these sections combined by filling out a combined sections request form. This allows you to create, manage, and deliver content from one course space and provide content to all sections. Like sections are not combined automatically. To request to have your sections combined, click on Support for Faculty from the My Classes page, and then click on the Combine Sections Request button. Complete the form and you will receive an email confirmation that the request was received. You will receive a second email verifying that the sections were combined. When setting up announcements, assignments, groups, discussions, and entering grades in your combined course, you can differentiate when the content is delivered and due per section. The default setting for all of these tools in my classes is to send to all sections unless otherwise specified. Therefore, by default, Canvas will send your announcement to all sections within your course. To select specific sections for your announcement, click the Post To drop-down menu and select the specific section or sections from the list provided. You will notice that any sections already added to the Post To list are removed from the drop-down menu. In this example, there is one section that I do not want to receive the announcement. After I have created the announcement, my classes indicates that two sections are receiving this announcement. If I hover over the two sections link, I can see which two out of the three sections I have sent this message to. The same is true for creating assignments. To create assignments, including quizzes and graded discussions, that are assigned only to a specific section, you will want to go into edit mode for that assignment. And within the assigned to option, you will want to click the remove icon next to the everyone label. You can include more than one section in the assigned to field, as long as those sections are to receive the same due date and availability times. You can add a different due date and time for the same assignment by clicking the add button. From the assigned to dropdown, you can select one or more sections for a new due date. You can continue to do this as many times as needed. Remember to save your changes. However, if you are creating three unique assignments, one to be assigned out to each section, when you add to your assigned two, you may only want one section to receive this assignment. In that case, you can press save with the students of one section selected to receive this assignment. You will receive a warning message that not all sections will be assigned to this item. You will be given the option to go back if you would like to add other sections or continue if you would like to keep this setting. If I look at this assignment in the gradebook, the students in the sections that were not assigned this assignment are grayed out and cannot receive a score for this assignment. Only the students in that particular section can receive a grade for this assignment. However, in most cases, all sections are receiving the same assignment, they just need a unique due date and time for submitting the assignment. When creating groups in a course, whether you are having students automatically assigned to a group or allowing students to sign up for their own groups, you have the option to require group members to be in the same section. If you allow self-sign up, when students go to sign up for a group, there will be a lock on the group if a member from another section has already signed up for it, therefore restricting them from joining that group. However, there is no way to prevent students from one section from signing up for all of the available sections first, which would then give students from another section locks on all groups, rendering them all unavailable. If you allow self-sign up, you'll want to decide how many groups you want available for each section, so if I want four groups for each section and I have three sections, I will create a total of 12 groups. You may want to update the group names to include the section that they can join. Renaming these groups indicates which groups are available to each section. To avoid this issue, you can automatically split the students into 12 groups. And if you check the box to require group members to be in the same section, the system will equally distribute the three sections into the 12 groups, or you can create groups manually. If you want to create a section-specific discussion that is not graded, select one or more sections in the Post To drop-down menu. If you choose to post a discussion to just one section, the option to make it graded will go away. 
This is because, as previously mentioned, if you check the box to make a discussion graded, you will then create differentiated due dates to assign to specific sections. Again, the discussion indicates that this is only available to one section, and if you hover over it, you can see which section you selected for that discussion topic. By default, your grade book shows all active students in the course. If your course includes more than one section, you can filter your grade book view by clicking on View, Filters, and Sections. The Sections drop-down menu will allow you to view all sections or specific sections in your gradebook. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please refer to the following resources.